so long time no see, or at least it feels like it for me. Um, I know I did my prom vlog recently over the weekend, but I haven't sat down to record a formal beauty video in a really long time. So yeah, anyway, I'm happy to see you girls, or be talking to you I guess, and um, I don't want to make this intro too long, so I'm going to get right into it. Today I'm going to be filming a haul, and it's pretty much purely makeup. But um, there's also some clothes and stuff thrown in there, and it's just kind of some shopping that I did over the weekend that I wanted to share with you girls. So yeah, let's get into it. The first store that I went to was Ulta, and if you watched my prom vlog, then you know that I went there before prom with my friends so we could pick up a couple things. Um, I actually did kind of splurge a bit when I went this time around, and I bought myself a Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And um, I've wanted this product for such a long time. I was so excited to get it because I've heard so many good things about it on YouTube. And if you've never seen it before, this is what it looks like. And it's just kind of like a spray bottle and you just go ahead and like spritz some on your face before you do your makeup and after you're done with your makeup. And this one specifically is formulated for oily skin, so it helps to keep your makeup set, but also to keep the oiliness from coming through and kind of making your makeup melt off your face and everything. So um, this product definitely has made a huge difference. Um, I've been using it every day since I bought it, and I am just in love right now. This is so awesome. I know it's going to last me a long time, and even though it was $30, I definitely think it was a good investment, and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this when I run out. The next thing that I picked up at Ulta is this, and it's the Maybelline Lime Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner. And um, I got this because the other one that I have is starting to dry out and I barely can use it. I've had to be shaking it like crazy to get a good solid line. So I knew I had to get a new one. And I just swear by this eyeliner. I've been using it for pretty much a year now and I just love it. It does a really great job. It doesn't budge. And um, I don't think I need to try a different one because I really love this. So if you've never tried it before, I definitely recommend it. Next thing that I picked up at Ulta is a foundation. And this is the Revlon Photo Ready. And unfortunately, this color is a bit too dark for me. I tried to judge it in the store. I went and got my current foundation, and I put them next to each other, and I tried to judge it, but I guess that's not really a good way to judge your foundation, because this ended up being way too orange and way too dark for me. So I'm actually going to have to take this back, and I was really disappointed, because I wanted to try it out for prom, but oh well, it worked out anyway. The next thing that I got at Ulta is this powder, and it's the Stay Matte from Rimmel, and this one is the transparent one. And um, I haven't opened this yet, so I can't tell you how I like it, but I've heard a lot of good things about this product, and I was running out of my other powder, so I figured I'd give it a try. And the last thing that I picked up from Ulta is just this eyeliner, and it's from CoverGirl, and it is their Liquiline Blast Pencil Eyeliner, and I really wanted to get a new pencil eyeliner from my waterline because I really don't have any good ones right now, and they all kind of smudge and go right down my face. So I wanted to get this, and um, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. And it's just kind of like a creamy eyeliner, and it's pretty black. Um, I wouldn't say it's like the blackest eyeliner I've ever seen, but that's okay, because I don't want anything too harsh on my waterline. Um, I will say that I heard a lot of good things on this um, on YouTube, but I was surprised that it actually didn't last too long for me. I don't know if it's just my eye type or something like that, but um, it kind of comes off pretty quickly for me. Um, it doesn't necessarily smudge all over my face, it just doesn't last a very long time. So this is a nice eyeliner, but I'm not sure that I would recommend it for the waterline because it really didn't last too long for me. The next store that I went to was Target, and I of course picked up a couple things there. The first thing that I got that I am so excited about is this blazer right here. And this is what it looks like. And the really cool thing about this blazer is that it's actually a really light material. And so it's kind of more like a sweater than like a thick jacket kind of material. And it's really comfy, but also perfect for kind of spring and early fall. So I think I'm going to get a ton of use out of this, especially because it's black, so it will go with a lot of things. And it's also lightweight, but could keep me warm if it was a little cooler out. So I think that this is a very versatile thing, and I'm going to get a ton of use out of it. Um, in case you're wondering, it's actually from the brand Converse, which I did not know they made clothes this cute. Um, I just always have gotten shoes from them, so in case you're wondering 
you know, what the clothes are at Target. There are actually some really nice clothes and you should definitely check them out because um, this is a really cool thing that I found that I really didn't expect to find at all. The second thing that I got at Target was something that I've been meaning to pick up for a while and it's just an angled eyeliner brush. But I'm actually going to be using this for filling in my eyebrows because I think that the brush I was using before wasn't as precise and I really want something that's going to help me define them and just make them a little bit darker. So I thought this brush would be really easy to use for that and I definitely want to, didn't want to invest in a really expensive brush because I know that one like this will do the trick perfectly fine. So this is just from e.l.f. And it's their small angled um, brush. And the second makeup related item that I picked up at Target is this right here and I was so excited about it. Um, I think I've talked about this before on my channel, how bad I wanted this color. And every time that I've gone to Ulta or another drugstore locally, um, I've never been able to find it. And it's the Maybelline Color Tattoo in, um, well, Color Tattoo Eyeshadow in Bad to the Bronze. And it's just such a pretty color. Like, look at this. And maybe it's just me, but I just am so obsessed. I think it's so pretty. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. And look at how pigmented that is. Like, it's so shimmery and just gorgeous. And I'm so excited. Like, literally, I was in Target and I was looking at different makeup and I saw it and I was just like, oh, grab. Because I've wanted this color for such a long time. So yeah, anyway, it's really pretty as you can see. And if you haven't tried out these eyeshadows yet, I definitely recommend them. Um, I actually just tested it out today and I wore this makeup look to school all day and the color is still there pretty well. And I mean, I put my makeup on at like seven this morning, so it works pretty well. So I'm very satisfied. The last thing that I picked up at Target is actually the shirt that I'm wearing right now. I'll kind of sit up so you can see it a little better. Ooh, okay. So it's just this really pretty button-up white shirt. And um, I think, oh, sorry, I just got a text. But um, I think that this shirt is just also going to be a very versatile shirt because I can wear it closed like this and it's almost a little bit more formal. Or I can unbutton it and wear a cute shirt underneath and it can be kind of more of a spring, like kind of casual look. And so I think this is really a nice shirt for this time of year and I'm really excited to wear it. Okay, and that was it for my haul. I hope you girls enjoyed this video, and if you're curious about any of the products or anything like that, go ahead and leave me a question below, or maybe tell me if you'd like to see a review on something. And yeah, I guess I'll talk to you girls soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and say hi, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all of that fun stuff, and I'll see you soon. Bye! It's right there is Joy's dress, uh, as you can tell. And we went to lunch Panera, which was fabulous. It was so good. And we still have our...